Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. And I am Sharonda Parker, the Sex Toy Queen. Today we are gonna be talking about vaginal toning. And for those of you all who have never heard of vaginal toning, that's basically tightening the vaginal walls, okay? Um, the vaginal canal is a muscle, okay? It's one big muscle. And a lot of times people don't understand is the same way you go to the gym and you work out the rest of your body, you still have to exercise the pussy too, okay? So we're gonna talk about some different things that you can do to exercise the pussy so that it's tight, nice, and right, okay? For so long, um, when it comes down to women having a loose vagina, um, men have a way of making women feel bad about it, okay? But let me tell you something, ladies. There's certain things that you have no control over, okay? One is, your age, as you get age, that vaginal canal is going to change. It's going to expand because it's elastic, okay? It's a muscle, but it's elastic. That means that it shifts and it moves, okay? So some things are beyond our control. Age is going to change it. And then once you start having children, that's another thing that's going to change it. The last thing that's going to change it is when you're taking all of these different dicks throughout the year, all different shapes, sizes, and lengths, and all of this kind of stuff, that's going to change it, okay? So... We have to talk about what we got to do to have to maintain maintenance on it. Just like your car, when you drive it, after so many miles, you got to get a tune-up, okay? You have to do maintenance on your car. So we're going to talk about the Benoit balls because that's one of the uh, very first things that people come into the store to get when they're trying to do vaginal toning, okay? That's the nice, um, which way, because y'all know I be talking about the pussy, um, when you're saying vaginal toning, that's more the professional way to say vaginal tightening, okay? This is a Benoit ball, okay? It's a little ball and it has a little cord that comes from it, okay? So, we're going to say this right here. This is your vagina. And you know I don't call it no coochie because grown women, we don't have coochies. We got pussies, baby, okay? We don't have coochies. Little girls have coochies, all right? So, you're going to insert the ball in. And you're going to push it in. You're going to use a little lubricant to slide it in. Now, you're going to take this string right here and you're going to pull. Now, the object is to take your vaginal muscles and hold on to the ball while you're pulling. Now, bitch, if you pull and the ball just pop on out, that means you got a lot of work to do. Okay? So, the ball going to be in and you're going to pull. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold for five seconds. One two, three, four, five. Then you're going to relax the muscle. Then you're going to do it again. And you're going to keep doing this for about maybe 20 times, okay? And then you're going to just stop. Take the ball out, clean it, go on about the rest of your day. The next day, do the same thing. Now, the best way to do this exercise is on your back with your legs apart and you have the ball inside of you and you're using your muscles to hold the ball in place while you're pulling, okay? Um... The reason why I don't recommend this in the, for, for people in the beginning, because see, people put the ball up in there, go on about their day and start walking. Then next thing you know, the ball is in the seat of your pen is because your pussy then got exhausted because it can get exhausted just like any other muscle. It can get exhausted, okay? So when you get to walking around with it all throughout the day, bitch, you a pro at that point. That means you got them, them walls is tight, nice, and right, okay? So... We got the one ball, then moving on to two balls. Because a lot of times I hear women talking about, well, I ain't, I had a C-section. I had a C-section, so my pussy is still brand new. No, bitch, no, it ain't brand new. Now, when you take a tone, dick and hair out throughout the year, Tim, Tony, Tremont, Tyrone, Rico, Ricky, Devontae, all of these different, yeah, bitch, your, your numbers is up there. That pussy ain't brand new no more. No, ma'am, no, it's not. So... We got the two balls. You're going to take them again and do just like you did with the one ball. You're going to take the two balls and you're going to insert it in and you're going to repeat the process, okay? And you're doing this, this exercise with the two balls, not because a baby that came down your canal. It's just that you just took a lot of dick throughout your life, okay? So the two balls for you. Now, if you, like me, then actually pushed out children, big ass babies, eight pound babies about the pussy, that means the pussy done been stretched out and the, bus, the pussy then retracted itself all back again. 
if that's the case, if you like me and you didn't actually had a actual vaginal childbirth, then you want to do the three. Okay, what's the difference in the one, the two, and the three? The weight of them. Okay, the weight. If you've had a vaginal childbirth, you need three bottles. Okay, it, it weighs more. That means you're going to get a, a better workout. Okay, because you want your walls to be nice and tight. Now, there's another set of balls that you can actually walk around when you're at work. They like little jingle bells. They got weights inside of them that move. You hear that? That means when you're walking throughout the day, those weights are going to be moving in the inside of you. And it's a reminder to your pussy to squeeze. So as you're walking, like you might have a job where you sit down all day. And then you get up and you're going to walk into take somebody something. Well, when you walk and he's jiggling inside of you, guess what? It's a reminder to your pussy to clinch. Clinch, bitch. Clinch. Clinch. As you walk and it's clinching, it's a reminder because the weight started moving around in the pussy, okay? So you have these right here, the two balls with the weights that move around in the inside. Then we have the glass balls with the silicone. These are my personal favorite, okay? One, they are really heavy, just like the three balls. They really heavy. They're glass and they're silicone, which means that you don't have to worry about um, anything getting in the pores of the toy because silicone toys don't have, and silicone products don't have pores in them. Then it's glass. That means you can actually take the balls, put them in the freezer, let them cool, insert them inside of you, and you got a whole nother sensation that you're experiencing, okay? So these are the glass balls, all right? So that's enough about the Benoit balls. Now let's talk about some vaginal tightening because he just called and said he on his way over to lay some dick. And but you ain't got time to do all of this. You ain't got time to do all of this. All you know is he on his way. The good thing about both of these is tasteless, colorless, odorless. We got Liquid Virgin, which is my personal favorite. And the reason I love Liquid Virgin is because not only is it a vaginal tightener, but it's a moisturizing lubricant as well. Okay, so that means it, it does two things. Now, it tightens and it lubricates. Tightens and it lubricates. Well, then we got the tightening up gel. Now, this is a lubricant, so that means it's, it's watery, it's liquidy, right? This is a gel, so you're going to take this, scoop it, and put it on your finger. You're going to insert your finger up inside of you. You're going to roll your finger around the inside of the vaginal walls. And guess what? This Your, your pussy is going to wrap itself around your finger instantly instantly okay so that's the difference this one is not a moisturizing lubricant this one is okay so that's the difference between the two now all of these products can be found on my website www.thepppgstore.com or you can come to our storefront 9789 florida boulevard baton rouge louisiana 70815 we are here monday through saturday 11 a.m to 9 p.m Okay, and I greatly appreciate all the of, all of business that you have been giving me. I had a customer that drove four hours away this weekend just to come to my store to support me. Uh, last month, I had another customer that um, was from Virginia that was staying in New Orleans and drove to Baton Rouge to come and visit my store. But if you are not local, I always use that website because most times your products will get to you within two days because most items we have a two-day priority shipping on them. Of course, the kangaroo pill is still the number one selling product here at the store, okay? And if you have not registered for my website, you need to go register because I have um, a blog that just went up called uh, The Clitoris. It, I'm sorry, it's called Inside the Clitoris, The Wishbone. I wrote that one. Then I have a new one that's going to be coming out called 12 Naughty Days of Christmas, and it's going to tell you all the shit that you could do to your sound, Okay. I'm talking about, baby, you're going to be ringing them bells, them nuts in so many words. But, yeah, you're going to be ringing them. Anyway, 12 Naughty Days of Christmas, that's going to be posted really soon. But you have to be registered on the website, and that's www.dppgstore.com. That's where you're going to go to register. In January, we have Fantastic Fellatio coming up. So you can also go online to the website and register for that. And, of course, you can book your party here at the PPG store and... I will be your host. Yes, me, honey. I'll be teaching y'all how to suck and fuck up in this motherfucker. Yes. So come turn up with me. But I'm going to wrap this video up. As always, I enjoy talking to you all. Make sure you like and share. 
Um, and of course, follow me on Instagram, only one PPG. I'm signing out, Sharonda Park, your sex toy queen.